Once again, and today, I'm making a beat. If you don't know me yet, my name is RS of RS Productions, and I make beats from scratch. I try to show you guys the process of how I make beats, and I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna show you guys my whole process, what I use, my equipment, and all that good stuff. Again, if you're new to my channel and you like what's going on here, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, and you know, share it with your homies, with your friends. And also, uh, I do photography on the side and videography and live stream. If you're into that, go ahead and message me and maybe we could talk about that kind of stuff. If you guys are wondering, this is my Chaotica eyeball. I'm planning on recording uh, live guitars. I don't think this guitar is branded. Um, this is my first guitar that my parents got me back in the 90s. But yeah, um, let's make a beat. Let us create that beat. Let's go. All right, let's get started. I'm using Studio One version 5. Uh, it's original, it's not cracked, and I bought it through Splice. Um, if it's a little pricey for you, you could buy it on Splice and you could pay monthly. It's a little cheaper that way. So the first instrument I'm gonna be adding is Impact. It's a stock plugin from Studio One. Let me see, let me look for a preset. Okay, I like that. Uh, let's look for a, a tempo. You want to make sure your uh, your metronome is on and your pre-count. And also set your uh, four bar or eight bar loop. Let's do an eight bar loop. Let's go slower. Let's go like, maybe we can go 130. And then... So let's record a simple uh, drum pattern. All right, let's quantize that. I'm just uh, making a simple drum pattern right now so I could record the guitars. And then once you have your drum pattern, you could remove the metronome. Let's record this uh, shaker and this little percussion sound right here. And then we'll just loop that. Let's add these two hi-hats. Let's add this clap. Yeah. Now that we have our drum pattern, uh, as you can see, it's very easy to make a drum pattern here on Studio One. You can make drum patterns really easily, any DAW, if you want. I mean, if you've been doing this for so long, it's just, it just comes out naturally. I'm not like bragging or anything, but it's just, if you've been doing this for so long, you can make drum patterns just like that. Let's go. Okay, so now we, why am I wearing short shorts? But yeah, um, I'm gonna be recording the guitar now uh, over this drum pattern, and I'm gonna, I don't know when I'm gonna record it. Let's explore. Let's try 
like that. So my room is not really well treated acoustically, so I'm using the eyeball, the Chaotica eyeball, for that purpose. Um, inside this, I'm using the Bluebird microphone. All right, let's try practicing it. recording that um let's see yeah Now I'm going to record the, the chords, just the strumming parts. Let's go. Let's see how that sounds. Alright. All right, let's just continue to build the guitars. Yeah. So I'm going to try something different. Um, I muted all the instruments and so I rendered, I exported that whole guitar part and I'm going to chop it up and I'm going to see if that works. Maybe we can make something totally different from chopping it. Let's try this. So now I'm going to add these two chops. All right, let's try that one, two, three, four. Bounce. 
pronounce that, and it sounds like this. This is the sample. So what I ended up doing again, um, I rendered that all those guitars and I chopped it on impact and now it sounds like this. Yeah. So it became more like upbeat and I'm going to record these drums and see how it sounds. Got something. All right, let's record these claps. So I found this instrument under contact uh, using the Soul Session instrument. It's called Crying to Weird. Quantize that. Let's see how it sounds. Yeah. Yeah! Let's just lower that. Alright, so I found this instrument under contact. Uh, Using the Soul Session instrument, it's called Crying to Weird. So let's try adding like a, a drum roll in the end of the 8th bar. Okay, that doesn't sound right. Um, maybe we could clean it up by... Time stretching it. Let's try this. There you have it, that beat is fire. It's different, but it's fun. Um, again, I don't just make hip hop beats, trap. I make different kinds of genres and yeah, you should try it. If you want it, let me know, message me or, or something. Um, and before I end the video, I just wanna remind you guys to always, always put God first 
even in music, even in beats, in life, in everything. And that's it. God bless.